everybody, it's Zach again at NewTutorial.com. Wanted to come in and do a video. Uh, uh, you know, I was in my office and I was looking out my window and I'm like, I, I see 20 turkeys out there. I'm like, oh, and I'm in here with you guys. Um, anyway, uh, hey, this is it's kind of an icing. It's going to be a big thing coming up, supposedly. And, uh, you know, I, I uh, have in the past have, you know, seen these things come through, Comet LN and some of these other ones. And, um, I'm not really a doomsdayer, uh, but I pay attention. And um, so I know people have sent me these, you know, these questions or whatever. What do you think about Ison? Is this going to be anything big? Is this, is this it? Well, no, I don't think it is. But here's the deal. There are people out there. I mean, YouTube is just inundated with folks who are like, this is the end. The world's going to end. This can't, it, this is it right here. We're all going to die. You know, make sure you've got your cave and your, and your bug out shelter and all this stuff. And, and, uh, and here's the deal. Do I think that's going to happen? No. Will I be surprised if it does? No. Uh-uh. No. Here's the deal. It's not going to end. We all, we all know how it ends. It, it, you know, there's going to be... Uh, go read your scriptures on that. But uh, this country is in line for judgment. No question about it. And is ice in it? Eh, probably not. But if it does happen, will I be surprised? Nope. Because we're due. We are due. We're due for it. And so... Uh, uh, Ison should be visible. Hopefully, maybe it'll just be a, you know a nice uh, sign and wonder in the sky. You know, for all we know, um, the western sky. Uh, you'll be able to see that soon, um, and uh, uh, probably in the next few days or a week or so, Ison will be available in the western sky in the western hemisphere finally, um, and it'll grow really bright, and then it'll dim at the end of November and go away, and um, uh, never to be seen in our solar system again, probably. So um, anyway, it's just an interesting, you know, uh, occurrence. People are talking about it. It's probably going to be in the news uh, here shortly if it's not already. Um, I don't have a TV, so I don't know. I haven't seen it on Drudge anywhere really. Um, but it's all over YouTube and it's all over the blogosphere. And people are saying this is the end. Uh, what is interesting uh, about this comet, uh, we are going through the path of its entry. So it's coming into our solar system, right? And it's coming in right on the path of Earth as, as the Earth you know, traverses the sun. And it's coming right along the path of Earth, you know, and then it's going to swing around the sun and then go out above Earth, um, above the path of the Earth. Um, and uh, so it's like if we had been, you know, two months or something like that prior, if we had been fast forwarded the Earth's position two and a half months or something like that, maybe uh, faster, uh, we would have actually collided with this thing. Um, which, you know, I mean, you can look at the models on NASA's website and see that very clear, uh, which is kind of interesting. So the question is, is there going to be a debris field that goes through when it, because it is, we are, it's going through our path right now and we are going to cross that path after it goes through and it's going to revolve around the sun and shoot out ab above us. And so uh, when we cross its path that it, that it just went through, will we see any, any debris? Uh, we have uh, some news articles that just came out uh, this week about the Torrid's meteor, sho Torrid's meteor shower um, that's lighting up the West Coast and other parts of, of uh, the Western Hemisphere. People are seeing that. Uh, the United Nations has this month uh, going to be forming the International Agency on Meteorological something or other you know, deflectors or something like that. Some agency at the UN, its sole purpose is to coordinate efforts between countries uh, to deflect asteroids and meteors. I mean, interesting. I don't know. Just, I, I saw this and, and, you know, people have emailed me, you know, well, hey, what do you think about this? Or, you know, could this really be it? And so I'm, I'm responding uh, to uh, the questions, you know, uh, what I get. I don't think it is. Uh, but here's the deal. Again, this country is due for judgment. The world is due for judgment. We have really turned our face away from the Creator, all of us. And um, uh, we're due for some judgment, and we're due for His, uh, um, his uh, discipline, if you will. And so, um, will our country is... Go Everybody's like, well, when's the economic collapse going to happen? Folks, you're seeing it. This is it. You're watching it right now. This is the economic collapse. Inflation is going through the roof. Um, it's going to get worse, a lot, lot worse. Um, you don't see the bread lines like you did in 1930s uh, because today we have EBT and food stamps and all this stuff that you can get. And so you don't see the, the food lines anymore because the people are getting their bread in the mail and they just go to the store and swipe their card. And so, uh, I mean, that's, that's the, that's the modern day bread line and you don't see that, but it is enormous, enormous. And so, uh, we are ripe for judgment. 
And so is ice in it? Eh, probably not. But, you know, I'm paying attention. I pay attention to these things. Uh, at the very least, we know from our from our word that these things are signs and wonders, and uh, they are, uh, you know, f- or for signs and seasons, and, uh, you know, we should pay attention to those. Uh, you know, those of us who are paying attention will look, and and those of us who are looking around at the sin in the world and are going to go, wow, uh, we are in deep doo-doo um, when the Father comes back. Uh, uh, that's how I see it, really. So, anyway, Ison. You know, what is it? It's a comet. It's coming through, you know, soon to be here. And, and uh, like I said, I'm paying attention. That's about it. So there you go. Ison. Go home. Read your Bible. Thanks.